Hi, this is Adam, and I'm going to show you a new feature I just added in VDocs Timeline 3D in the 2.4 edition. And this feature allows you to control the speed of the 3D movements, both in the interactive 3D timelines and when you export your 3D timelines. Be sure to use the Check for Updates feature in the Timeline 3D menu to make sure you have the latest version of the software. Let's review how the 3D camera movement worked in the previous versions of VDocs Timeline 3D. You can see that each transition, whether it be a 2D to 3D toggle or the transition between different events, each transition takes two seconds, which is kind of a slow, even smooth transition. Now let's take a look at how you can change these motion settings. In the Timeline 3D menu, choose the Preferences pane. There's two new settings here. One is the camera movement speed that controls the 3D perspective toggle and the panning from event to event. And there's also the event selection speed, which controls the little doors that open and the crossfade from event to event. Let's change this to a really fast transition speed. We'll use 0.3 seconds for the camera movement speed, and we'll use just 0.1 seconds for the event transition speed. Let me show you what this looks like. Now we're really flying along this timeline. It's just very quick transitions between each event or each 3D perspective. Let me show you a few other settings just so you can get an idea of the variety here. For this one, we'll use one second for the camera transitions, but we'll still just use 0.1 second for the events. So you can see that the event doors are just going to snap right out almost instantly, but now we have a smoother camera transition speed. Now I'll show you what the slowest settings look like at three seconds for each of the transition speeds. I'd encourage you to use these new settings to reflect the content of your timeline, just as if you would choose particular colors or images to highlight the content of your timeline. You can now use camera speeds and motion settings to reflect the content and the meaning within your timeline. Finally, I'll show you the new default settings. These are a little bit faster than the previous default settings. 1.5 seconds for the camera movement and half a second for the event transitions. I hope this new feature that allows you to customize the 3D movement of your timeline will allow you to present your timelines in the most beautiful and individual way possible.